is Shannon Gunter again. We're continuing on with our homeschool day after we have finished our Bible reading. Then it's math time, but before we move on to math time, I ask the children each a question. Something like, Daniel, who told the parable? Say, Jesus. And Benjamin, what did the woman lose in the parable? Brooke, after the woman lost the coin, what did she do? She swept and she put a click and she knew, and she knew there was her coin, so she picked it up. And Lydia, what was Jesus trying to teach us through this parable? Jesus was trying to teach us that when a sinner comes back to God, all the angels will rejoice. And Paul, can you think of another parable that Jesus told that's similar in the message? The lost sheep. Very good. Now that we've finished the Bible and the Bible questions, I set the timer for one hour, and we have one hour of math. The way that our math is set up, all the children are using a Becca, and I start with when they're younger, usually around when they're four, I'll start with them with first grade of Becca, and then they just continue on, doing one page front and back every day. And with my youngest, right now, I'm working on colors, letters, and um, shapes. So while I'm working with them, everyone else is doing their math, so you all can start doing your math right now. They work independently, if they have a question, they just skip it until I finish with the younger ones, and then they can ask questions. The way I have it set up right now is that I work with the youngest children first, and then release them to go once they finish their work. And then I work with my next one until she finishes. And then the question seat, which is the seat right here, is open, and anyone who has a question about their math or skip the problem because they couldn't understand it, can come and sit down in that seat and I can answer their questions. And um, math does not take an hour for everyone to finish. Whenever they finish, they can leave. And then um, they have free time until the hour is finished. Also, I do grade their math work every single day. I grade it while the children are doing their language arts. And that way, they are not as sloppy on their work because they know that the next day, if they got something wrong, they have to correct it. And so they usually start off with correcting the math problems they got wrong the day before, and they start learning math. But this is what preschooling or preschool looks like while we do our math. I'll show you what that looks like, and then um, I will not show you the whole hour of the kids doing math problems. So we start by going through. Colors. So, what color is this? Blue. Say blue, Daniel. Blue. Azul. Yellow. Say yellow. Uh, Amarillo. Black. Say black. Daniel, say black. Uh, Negro. Uh, brown. Say brown. Uh, Marron. Uh, say pink. Uh, You're not recording <laughs> or cooperating. Um, and just for time's sake. I'll go through. We continue to go through shapes. What shape is this? Oval. Say oval. 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 Oh, what is this? What say diamond? Diamante. What shape is this? Say star. Estrella. After we go through the shapes, we then say through the alphabet. Benjamin has already been through this part of the workbook, so that's why. It already spilled out. So we sing the alphabet. Let's start the beginning of it. A, B, C. And we sing the alphabet. And then it's time for Benjamin to do his handwriting. And while he does that, Daniel normally scribbles on the page. So this is H for hippo. You go down, and then you bounce back up. And you do a hump. And go ahead and trace over hippo right here. Daniel, you can work on the G. Daniel. 
Sit down, please. Okay. Can you work on the G? Daniel, stop, please. Right here. Benjamin, can you please do your H? Remember to pinch your crayon. With two fingers, please, Daniel. Or Benjamin, sorry. Much better. Hold a little bit lower. It doesn't work when I do it like that. Go ahead and try. It doesn't work. I need a pencil. You want to try a pencil? Okay. Here's a pencil. Okay, you can pause it for a moment. 